watch this documentary, there you will get to know that Chief Natia is always one. Natia Foundation in Focus today. There's a saying that you can learn everything about the people from how they treat their wickedest. In our part of the world, orphans, street children, and widows are among the most vulnerable and wickedest. Two thirds of Ghana's population is rural, mostly living in the country's northernmost regions. Whilst overall poverty rates have decreased significantly, only marginal improvements have been made in the north. This makes caring for the marginalized a difficult task. And this is where Natia Foundation comes into focus. The Natia Foundation, headed by His Eminence Chief Natia, has envisaged mainstreaming the orphans, street children, witches camps, and widows in rehabilitation programs by providing care, support, and protection through emotional support, food, clothing, healthcare, and education. All these form part of the mission of the noble chief. A father to the fatherless, a strength to the weak, a voice to the voiceless, and a defender to the hopeless is God in his own dwelling. Surely, God lives with the destitute, same way Natia lives with the destitute and the uncared for. Caring for the marginalized, the abused, the neglected, the orphans, and the widow has become the headache of the handsome philanthropist, Chief Natia Salifu. Over the period, the kind-hearted chief single-handedly supports the vulnerable in our society. Not only has he become the father of the orphans, street children, widows and witches camps, he has been there generally for the destitute. Chief Natia maintains that the best joy in this world is to invoke a smiling face among the vulnerable. Nyani Ofanich Around 160,000 Ghanaian children have been orphans due to untimely death of their parents and are now facing a life without their biological parents. At present, an estimated 1.1 million children in Ghana have lost either one or both of their parents. These children are involved in rag picking, pickpocketing, and participating in antisocial and criminal activities. Fortunately, there are organizations throughout Africa that help orphans and abandoned children. One of these organizations is the Nyohani Children's Home in Tamale, Ghana. Orphans are left without care and support in many communities. Additionally, not much has been done to ease the burden at the orphanage home beyond their enjoyment of shelter. The children come here through so the part of social welfare, dogs and the hospital welfare. Not all the, uh, children institutions get this opportunity. And they having this opportunity uh, in fact has sent them let's say memories that somewhere someone somewhere cares for them and they are feeling at home. Natia Foundation frequently visit this orphanage to donate food stuff, clothing and money for the upkeep of these orphans. Better to do it there because we all know that the children they don't have parents. And uh, today is a happy day for all Muslims in Ghana. So I decided to come and share my happiness with the children here. I want the children to uh, go to school, you understand? So uh, because of this, I'm, been, I'm yet to sponsor a program on radio stations, which will be bringing more teachers to talk about education. and. Uh, how the children could go to school and learn very well to become people in the future. Widows Association Not only has the benevolent young chief supported the orphanage, he's been there for the Widows Association. Widows in Africa have often been faced with traumatic experience in African communities at the instance of losing their husbands which is occasioned by death. The inhuman treatment meted on the widows varies from one culture to the other. Most of the treatments are geared towards dehumanizing their victims, which is always a painful and psychological experience that can affect the individual throughout her life. The maltreatment of widows is wide-ranging. Young children of widows are forced to drop out of school, work, and become destitute due to lack of access to their father's resources. Nazia Foundation has been there for the widows too. The foundation has allocated some of these resources for the upkeep of widows and their children. Our chief 
Nati who have come to do us a great honor to present to us this honorable gift, rice, maize, etc. Even financially for our school, the, the orphans to go to school, food for the widows, for the children, etc. We'll be very grateful that all chiefs in the northern region and Kamali Metro will come out to have attention on these poor widows and orphans and how we can support them in uh, assisting them to also wipe their tears off. And uh, uh, I'm very grateful that Nati is here uh, to honor us with this great his visit alone is an, is an honor and the gift is a plus. We are very honored and we thank him and we are so uh, proud of him. And we appeal to the chiefs of the northern region to come and also take same examples and uh, we will wipe the tears of these widows and orphans to assist them in their feeding, school feeding, school programs and books, etc. We are very grateful chief and we thank you and we are very proud that's this Our happiness is beyond the expression of words. God knows best. So we are grateful to God. May God bless you. We pray that someday others will also come the same way you did and do even more good unto us. Some of us don't even have a place of our own. We are in rented houses. So for that matter, we are thankful to God. May God provide more for you to take care of us. We have nothing to do unless God. We are grateful to you. Ever since we started, nobody has ever catered for us with this much care and affection. Your coming is a blessing to us. We together with the orphans are grateful. More grace to your elbow. May God richly bless you. We pray that your next coming we welcome you with much more excitement than this because we have nobody to care for us like you are doing. Although you are not the only great one in the north and we really appreciate your efforts. God richly bless you. Witches come. A witch camp is a settlement where women suspected of being witches can flee for safety. Usually in order to avoid being lynched by neighbors. Witch camps exist solely in Ghana, where there are at least six of them, housing a total of around 1,000 women. Such camps can be found at Bonyasi, Gambaga, Ghani, Patanga, Kuku, and Naboli, all in northern Ghana. Some of the camps are thought to have been set up over 100 years ago. Many women in such camps are widows, and it is thought that Relatives accuse them of witchcraft in order to take control of their husband's possessions. Many women also are mentally ill, a little understood problem in Ghana. In some camps, the women are given protection by the local chieftain and in return, pay him and work in his fields. Natia Foundation frequently visits these witch camps to give financial support to the suspected witches. Gushagu Building Did I forget to acknowledge the lending of hand to the school project? It wouldn't be fair to do so. The unforgettable legacy has become a memorable relief to the good people of Gushegu, especially students at Gushegu Senior High School. Natia Foundation considers education a fundamental human right and a core element of our work in Ghana because it enables people to access and enjoy other rights. Therefore, the foundation works with excluded groups and stakeholders in education to complement the lacking needs of education among the people, democratize the learning process so that all children have access to quality education. I'm very happy today because I just returned from Accra this morning just to meet the inauguration of the school block built by Natia. I learned the students are already occupying the block. On behalf of the people of Gushegu, we thank Natia, who also happens to be a son and native of Gushegu. So, he has done this project for everyone including himself. Anyone who comes to witness this project will appreciate what Natia has done. As the MP of this area, I thank him for the good work done. May God richly bless him and give him the resources to continue lending a helping hand to us. 
On behalf of the board, board of uh, governors of the school, I would like to say a big thank you for uh, to Natia for the immense support he has given the school. It will go a long way to impact positively on the students' studies. Once again, I say a big thank you to Natia. God bless you. God richly bless you. Thank you, Natia. The paya. Yeah, what I, I think I have a very short message to deliver. You know, um, there is a saying that uh, when God bless you financially, you don't need to raise your standards of um, living, but you should raise your standard of what giving. So that is the most important thing in life. So uh, I, I decided to put on this building to help I mean, uh, my brothers, uh, uh, the students, to also get as the headmistress says already. Um, as a student or a student, you need to have a peace before you can learn. If he doesn't have any place to put your head into, it's also uh, a big headache uh, to you. So I am also appealing to my colleagues and those who have to come on their aid and support them financially. I thank you so much. Hikma, the kidney patient. Madam Hikma faces excruciating pain, loneliness, and in agony. Sadly, she is suffering from kidney malfunction, and this is accompanied with heavy financial burdens. An estimated amount of over 200,000 Ghana cities is required to stabilize her condition. Until the huge sum of 200,000 Ghana cities is secured, Madam Ikma needs at least 1,000 Ghana cities weekly to maintain her health from further worsening. After a long call of support through the media, benevolent Natia, as usual, intervened. He remained the shoulder of the helpless woman. Not only has he supported her financially, but he's been there to assist her psychologically, physically, and emotionally. <laughs> Oh, long, 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 long,